On July 2nd, 2022, I decided to move to Bombay and just after two days of moving to Bombay, I lost three of my biggest clients. I had my bills to pay, expenses to take care of and more importantly, I had a lifestyle that I wanted to maintain. So I was afraid, I was sad for next week or so and I was just left with two options. Number one, do nothing about it, save some money and live a mediocre life. And number two, be the hardest working person in the room and go for things that I wanted to achieve. And being the person who I am, I obviously chose the second option. So I started a new project with my business partner by the name Content Flow. We contacted 1200 people, sent 4000 cold emails in a matter of one month or so and end up making $10,000. And this is exactly how we did it. Okay guys, so this video is divided into four important phases. Her phase ke apne apne action points se, her phase ke apne apne relevance se, or her phase ke end me I am going to tell you what tools did we use, taaki tumhare paas sab kuch ho that you can use to start working on your idea today. Phase one was ideation and setup. Ab hum humare idea pe kam karte, usse pehle it was important for us that we have absolute clarity on our idea because I have always believed in the fact that clarity first, speed second. So me and my business partner decided to brainstorm everything on Notion and we brainstorm about our customer persona, what our target market is, what are the services we are going to provide and who are we going to provide it for and what positioning we are going to go with. You can see the notion board on the screen right now. You can take the screenshot or you also find the link in the description. So you can check that out and you can copy it for your own idea. Okay, so once we were absolutely clear about the idea that we wanted to execute in the world, the next obvious step was to display that idea and value we were going to bring to the market on a small and simple website. And uske liye kya kya? I went to card.co. I created a website myself in just a matter of two days. Now, when I was creating a website, we obviously needed a great logo. So I went to Canva and created the logo logo myself. This website and this logo you can see on the screen were created by me. Once we are clear, I was like, I want to go with speed. I do not want to waste time in creating a professional logo or a professional website. I just wanted to execute the idea and test it in the market as soon as I can. So to sum it up, the tools we used in the phase one were Canva, Notion, Card.co and thing to keep in mind is clarity first, speed second. Moving on to the phase two, it was setting up the outreach process. When it comes to outreach process, there are two things that we need to take care of. Number one was lead generation. That means we wanted to get the emails of people we would want to reach out to. In our case, after two weeks of research, me and my business partner figured out that there are two tools that we can use to actually filter the YouTubers because YouTubers were the people we wanted to reach out and those two tools were playbot.co and YouTube channel crawler. So what we did is we created SOP videos of the process of how to get the YouTube channels that we wanted to reach out to and how to collect the emails and paste them in the Excel sheet. We created that SOP, we sent that SOP and we hired someone on Upwork, we sent them that SOP and we made sure that our Excel sheet and our lead generation is automated and we are constantly getting the inflow of leads. Once our lead generation process was created, we wanted to automate our outreach. And for automating our outreach, we used the tool called instantly.ai. Now, there are a lot of things that we can talk about instantly. I will create a separate video on this. But for now, you can see the script that we used on the screen. We automated our outreach process. And to quickly tell you, we used to send first email. After three days, if nobody replied, we used to send another email. After three days, if nobody replied, we used to send another email. And that's how we automated our outreach process. You will find all the scripts that we used in the description. So you can check that out, take inspiration out of it and create scripts for your idea. To quickly sum it up, phase two, we have four tools used. Kare. Two tools we used were for lead generation, which was playbot.co and YouTube channel crawler. And we used instantly.ai and Excel sheet for our outreach automation. Moving on to the phase three, it was follow up and closing the deal. Now, everybody who used to reply to our emails, we used to handle those people manually because we wanted to make sure that we are sending the messages after they reply in a much personalized way. And we are actually directly trying to pinpoint their problem and solve that instead of generically sending the follow up emails after their reply. So we manually handled all the leads and once we are in contact with them, once we know that they are even partially interested in our service, the next thing that we really wanted to do is to get them on the call with us. Because I knew that if I the call, pe leonga, then it gets really easy for me to apply my sales and closing skills and I can basically influence them to work with us and actually solve their problem. So the tools we used in phase three were basic Gmail for following up, Zoom and Calendly for setting up our calls and talking to them about the calls and Zoom recordings so we can further optimize our sales and closing process. Okay guys, so we are all at the end of the video. If you think you are finding this video insightful, please make sure you smash that like button. Now, without wasting any time, let's move on to phase four. Systems and fulfillment. The reason why I started Content Flow in this new venture is because I wanted to make sure that I'm creating something which is productized in itself, which is properly systemized and automated. So I do not have to always work on business and I can actually work on growing the business, right? So what we did is we created a lot of systems, SOPs for lead generations, SOPs for fulfillment, SOPs for onboarding the clients. So we do not have to do that again and again for every new client. 
client and we actually have a system in place so we do not have to waste our time and our client's time and everything flows very smoothly so what we did is we use zapier for creating basic automations taki hame wo kaam bar bar na karna pade jo hame har client ke liye karna pad raha hai and it is a redundant task if you will see on the screen you will see the screenshot of my zaps that i have created if you understand it great you can apply it on your own business as well if you do not you have to read something about zapier you will find zapier blog in the description go check that out and learn how to automate the basic tasks in your business now once everything was set up our systems were on point our marketing and sales strategy was on point and automated with our sops the next most important step that everybody neglect is actually providing high quality and fulfilling in a way that the clients you have signed always work with you they do not even think about leaving you and working someone else and great fulfillment comes with great results you have to create processes where you are able to replicate the results for every client you are working with right and that is where the concept of working with a segment of the market comes into play if you are working with random people all around the world you won't be able to create the systems and you will never be sure to bring results for your clients so you will never be able to promise them that you are going to bring results even if you are able to promise them you will never be able to bring consistent results because you will never have a process set for yourself and for your team fulfilling our clients was on our highest priority once we closed two three clients so we paused everything and all we did was focused on high quality fulfillment because with high quality fulfillment you get retention of the clients and you get a lot of referrals which is always great when it comes to scaling your agency so optimizing every phase that we just talked about is an consistent ongoing process and if you can actually do it with discipline you would be easily able to scale your business or agency that you are trying to build up to $20000 per month you don't need random videos on youtube about how to make $10000 in next two weeks or so because even if you watch those videos and if you have no clarity about your idea those videos are not going to be any use for you you are just going to give free views to those youtubers even if you are watching this video without any sense of idea and you don't know what you want to execute upon this video might sound really great to you but you will just end up watching next video which is just waste of your time so please don't do it act on the idea as fast as you can go for clarity first speed second and if i can do it what's stopping you okay guys so that's all for this video if you found this video insightful smash the like button subscribe to the channel and i will see you guys in my next video